For the first step, you want to head over to search and then type in File Explorer. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to click on this PC, then you want to right click on your C drive and then click on Properties. Then you want to click on Tools and then you want to click on Check right here. It's going to scan your drive. Once you scan it, it will tell you if there's any problems with it. And if any problems are detected, it should fix it for you. This scan might take a while, so we can run this scan in the background and to do the other steps in this video. For the next step, we're going to head over to search again and then type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once you're on this, we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and click on enter. Then you also want to run this scan. Run it in the background and to do the next step in this video. You could just minimize this. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in edit power plan. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're going to click on power options on the top and then you want to click on high performance. If you don't see high performance, then you want to click on the arrow right here and then select high performance. But if you still don't see that, you want to click on create a custom power plan and then it might show right here. And then you can select high performance. But if you still don't have high performance, then you could just stay unbalanced. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're going to click on any service and click on S on our keyboard, which will bring us down. We're going to scroll down till we find sysmain. You want to right click on sysmain, click on properties, and then you want to make sure that the service status is on stopped. So click on stop right here, and you want to make the startup type disabled and click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in settings. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're going to click on the system tab. Then you want to click on storage. You want to make sure that storage sense is turned on, and then you want to click on it. And then you want to click on Run Storage Sense Now. Then we're going to go back to Storage. Then we're going to click on Temporary Files. You want to make sure that everything here is selected. But if you want to keep what's in your recycle bin and your downloads, etc., then you could just untick it. But I would just recommend ticking everything and then click on Remove Files. And then click on Continue. For the next step, we're going to head over to Search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on Startup Apps. And then you want to disable all the apps that you don't want to start when your computer turns on. The way to do that is by clicking on it and then click on disable. And then the status would have changed to disabled right here. For the last step, we're going to head over to search and type in virus and threat protection. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on scan options. And then you want to run a full scan. Click on scan now. This will take a while, but after you've done this full scan, you want to run a Microsoft Defender offline scan. And then click on scan now. And then click on scan. And then once you complete everything in this video, the problem should be fixed.